Hi, I'm Francois Gray, and this is the CERN Summer Student Web Fest 2014. It's the third edition of this Web Fest, which is the first ever hackathon at CERN, the place where the web was born. This hack fest is all about using the web to promote science and to get people involved in science through the internet. And we have summer students from all over Europe and indeed around the world who are here at CERN all summer. On this weekend, they develop their own projects. In less than 48 hours, they put together some really impressive games, tools, browser-based analysis methods. And this year, uh, as a plus, they're working on some humanitarian projects as well. So what uh, happens is that the students get together on Friday evening. Uh, they pitch ideas that they may have for an intense weekend of uh, activity, programming, designing, this sort of thing. And the best ideas attract teams. They form teams, normally half a dozen teams. And these teams uh, are quite open-ended in what they can do. I'm here working on the project GeotagX. Yeah. And we've been working with a couple of SAN students and staff to develop the project more. It's been fantastic to have everybody face-to-face -face working together. We've really been able to progress the project. So we basically tried to create a user-friendly interface for the geotax so that future potential NGOs can add uh, their questions uh, related to the pictures, uh, depending on the information they want to get. A, an educational browser game basically that is um, based on a game called Cookie Clicker, and you basically have to click on a detector to produce data, which you then can use to um, research physics content and hire people and upgrade your detector. And the idea is that you, well, it's a little bit addictive, so you keep playing, keep playing, and while you keep playing, you um, you can always click on information fields, so to say, and then see stuff, see see explanations to your physics content. And then um, you learn why you don't realize you learn. So it's a, a <laughs> sneaky way to get people educated in physics. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make a, a game like, like Temple Run um, in the LHC ring. And we have to dodge um, obstacles and have to collect coins in order to fill histograms and find the Higgs. So the initial idea of the project was uh, building the first tool for uh, having a secure protocol for communication. So essentially, you are asking something to the database, the database will answer correctly, but it will hold no knowledge about what you asked for. This is useful because you can ask for somebody's location on the internet, so you can communicate with that person, not letting anybody else know that you're communicating with that person. This WebFest is part of a worldwide event, a series of maker parties that uh, Mozilla Foundation is putting together. And uh, we're excited to be associated with this. We're excited because people everywhere who believe in the openness of the internet, the openness of the web, and the openness of science are really showing what they can do. And this is the next generation. They're going to inherit the web, the internet, and the world of science. These students have a lot of fun over the weekend, but they also benefit from being able to work with each other and follow their own whims and fantasies of what they think is really important or fun for other people to do on the web. Don't forget that it was just such an idea over 20 years ago that got a young guy called Tim Berners-Lee to make the World Wide Web in the first place. Mm -hmm.